Over the last five years, we've been lucky to have had the opportunity to study ancient genomes from livestock. As part of my PhD, I've been working with goat samples that have range in age from about 14,000 years old up as far as 500 years old. From these, we've managed to extract DNA so we can investigate the patterns and processes of goat domestication. Ancient genomics, it can tell us about the pattern of domestication and that pattern was mosaic, not simple and singular. The difference between animals from Iran compared to ones that come from the Mediterranean coast, they're all very different, maybe different to the tune of 30,000 years. So domestication wasn't singular, it wasn't something that just happened in one place, but rather it was something that was repeated, it was something that happened in different places and carried out by different people. By looking at the whole genomes of animals, we've managed to get the oldest yet described catalogue of genes that have been selected by humans. We got a particular bone called the petrous bone, which is a small bone um, from the inner ear, which is the best source of ancient DNA. This is the densest bone of the mammalian body. It surrounds the smaller bones of the ear. And what we found is that it's a wonderful reservoir for ancient DNA molecules. We have to be very careful about contamination, so we take them into a specialized ancient DNA lab. We clean them and we UV them to remove DNA contaminants. Then when we have that DNA, we can sequence it and give us a very detailed picture as to what the earliest herded goat populations looked like. When we ask what were those genes, interestingly, some of the top genes are genes involved in coat color and pigmentation. Early herders, in a sense, they were just like us. They were very interested in, in the appearance of animals. One of the, the strongest selected genes 8,000 years ago is a very interesting one. The same gene actually has been proposed to have been selected in humans because it helps to break down a toxin that's present in a fungus that attacks grain. Humans are intervening in the goat's life cycle by storing food feeding it to them, it had a side effect and they have evolved to deal with that. So what we've done is extracted genomes from these ancient goat and effectively converted genetic information to digital information. And then from there we can compare what's different and then what's similar between our ancient goat and modern goat populations. We found thus far the earliest genetic signal for human intervention in the breeding of another species.